whereas the mids and the highs are just so much more pronounced. It just sounds so much more clear than it did before. What's up guys, it's Eric from B-Side. Today we have here a PA2H1 and we're gonna be installing to this 2013 Honda CRZ. I know you guys are used to me working on Toyota vehicles. This is a tree, we have another Honda here. This product is compatible with most of the 2008 and up Honda vehicles. So the last vehicle that we installed to was a Honda Accord. Now we got the Honda CRZ. It's also compatible with the Civics, the Pilots, and all the other models that's available within the Honda lineup. So let me show you guys a little bit before and after and show you how much this makes and also show you how easy it is to install this. You'll be very, very surprised. And you will definitely see the difference in your music quality. So it's not wasting any time, get in the vehicle and get started. All right guys, so now that we're in the vehicle, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna duck our head down and remove this plastic piece over here. So you're gonna just stick your head down here and there's two clips that's holding it in place. So you, could, you gotta just move this tab towards the front and then you're going to just pry this out. Let's go ahead and use a panel removal tool to assist. I'm gonna try putting something thin between this panel. Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, that was easy. Okay, just go ahead and pry it out like so. And we're gonna disconnect this. Okay, it's the light. All right, just kind of fell off, but we'll just leave it there. And if you duck under here, you'll find a 10 millimeter bolt here, and then a screw here, smaller one. So we'll go ahead and remove those two. All right, so once we got those out, let's go ahead and pry this guy out. So we'll go ahead and just grab a hold of this, just pull it out towards you. Go ahead and push it out from the bottom as well. There she is. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and lay a thick towel here so that the interior is protected. So this area is a little bit tight, so I'm gonna go ahead and release these connectors here. We got one, we got two, Okay. And then we're gonna use a little flathead screwdriver to release these, release this clip. Push it down in the back into the hole. So, all right, now we could pull this out a little bit more. Looking at the back, I could already see the connector that we're gonna be working on. It's gonna be this one right here. Okay, let me go ahead and just remove the required one first. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove all of it. Okay. Okay, everything is plug and play. So our harness, female side, will connect to the male side from the car. And use the lock. And then this male side will connect to the radio. So, all right, okay, and then this part will connect. I'm just gonna go ahead and ground it to the radio. It should be an eight millimeter. All right, okay, and this part here will connect to our amplifier. Okay, and then the other connector will connect to this connector. All right, and then the gain, let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and make some adjustments to this gain. So let's go ahead and even him out first and then let's do a quick test. All right, so it seems like it's working. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and now look for a place to mount this amplifier Ideally, we would want to place it behind the radio and it does look like we have room back here. All right guys, so we try mounting this back there, but there's just way too much room. Even with some foam tape, it's gonna be moving around. And since this amp has some weight to it, you don't want it moving around, so it's gonna be banging and hitting things inside. So instead, I managed to find a flat surface behind the radio. It goes all the way to the right side, right here to the left of the glove box. And we're gonna go ahead and just double side tape it on the other side of this. So there's gonna be a little bit of maneuvering that's gonna be required. So just take your time 
and then just be very careful and you should be fine so i'm gonna remove the adhesive and carefully maneuver it through to that side all right guys to show you where we mounted the amp we went ahead and went through this opening to the back looped around to the bottom all the way to the right side and i'm not sure if this video is going to be able to capture it but it's like all the way down there okay and basically it's right here to the left side of this glove compartment it's a flat surface we went ahead and double sided to that all right okay next we are going to reconnect all the connectors that we removed during this mounting process Now that we finished installing all our factory panels are back, now we're gonna do an after. We're gonna go ahead and match our volume level. They were at 10 before, and then let's go ahead and play the same music. By listening to this guys I could totally tell the difference there's the mids and the highs are just so much more pronounced it just sounds so much more clear than it did before because factory sound system it can sound a bit muffled and you just don't hear the details that you look for in good quality music and this amplify just does it all right guys this concludes our installation demonstration of our pa2h1 for this 2013 honda crz the same amplifier is also compatible with other 2008 and up honda models if you have any questions leave a comment below or you can email us at info at bsonicusa.com and if you are local to us in la mirada california we are still offering free installation in exchange for us to use your vehicle to shoot a video once again guys thanks for watching if you haven't yet help us by giving us a like and subscribing to our channel thank you very much and i'll see you guys in the next video